WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. Hi, I'm Amber Grigley, bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Indianapolis has transformed into All-Star Central before thousands flood downtown. For those looking to enjoy the weekend festivities without breaking the bank, well, there are options. All-Star events range from free to thousands of dollars. One experience that doesn't cost a thing is enjoying the pop-up art displays all over downtown. Now to get around, you can hop on a free Pacers bike, share or Indigo bus. The convention center will host cheaper priced events for all ages. There are also pop-ups like the suite, which moved into an old restaurant. It's free with live DJs, stand-up comedians and a local coffee shop next door. We want people to come down and whether or not they're basketball fans, whether or not they have a ticket to any of the games, we want them to come down and just experience Indy's home court. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> well, we have a section on our website with all of the things you need to know about the All Star celebrations kicking off tomorrow. That includes the event scheduled, where the park, a concert guide, and where you can spot celebrities, all listed on our website, WRTV.com. Well, if you're thinking about grabbing tickets to an NBA All-Star event this weekend, be careful. The Better Business Bureau has a warning out tonight to protect yourself against ticket scams. Make sure you're paying close attention to which website you're using to purchase tickets. Many can look legitimate. It's a red flag if the prices for the ticket seems too good to be true. They're asking for payment through means that you cannot retrieve that money. So that's going to be wiring and peer to peer cash app payments, uh, cryptocurrency, even gift cards, all those ways you want to steer clear of, because if it does end up being a scam, you're very likely not to get that back. Beware of any tickets you find for sale on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok, even if it's a friend. Well, they could get hacked. The BBB recommends only buying tickets from members of the National Association of Ticket Brokers. You can report any scams to the BBB scams tracker.